This is the 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup, which is the second generation model of the Ram, sold from the 1994 to 2001 model year. Although the Ram was first introduced to market in 1981, it wasn't until this generation came out that it really became a mainstream player. The first generation of the Ram was very boxy with awkward styling, the interior wasn't all that nice, fit and finish and build quality were subpar, and really compared to the competition from Ford and GM, it wasn't all that competitive. But flash forward to 1994 and suddenly all of that has changed. It's very arguable that this generation of the Ram was the best looking full size truck on the market at its time, likewise the interior was class leading, and overall this was a really nice package, and consumers responded accordingly. In 1994, sales on the Ram tripled to 232,000, and by 1999, they were selling over 400,000. So it really transformed the entire Dodge brand, and I would argue that it's one of the main reasons that Dodge is still in business today. Now, this generation of the Ram 1500 was available in either a regular club cab or quad cab configuration. This truck is the club cab, which adds the rear seat, but doesn't offer rear swinging doors like the quad cab, which was introduced to market in 1998 and was an industry first. You could also get the Ram in either a six and a half foot or eight foot bed. And then they also offered the Ram in either a 2500 or 3500 heavy duty configuration. Now this generation of the Ram had three different trim package upgrades that you could make. This truck has the Laramie SLT package, which adds some chrome accents, some trim pieces, and upgraded wheels on the exterior, and then a few additional features inside. They also offered a sport package and an off-road package. Now doing a quick walk around of the vehicle, again, you'll see that it's a very attractive vehicle. Um, and really the design cues that came to be in this second generation of the Ram have carried forward in, to each generation of the Ram since and continue to be present in even the latest generation of the Ram. The most prominent feature of the Ram is this front end. Uh, it looks a little bit like a semi truck where we've got the very prominent grill in the middle. And then we've got the lowered fenders on the sides with the headlights and just overall really attractive looking truck. Likewise, on the side, it's got a very sporty appearance to it, very rugged, um, and just a style that has really stood the test of time very well. Now, this truck's got some upgraded wheels, but you'll see in the back, we've got the stock wheels that came on this truck with that SLT package in 2001. And then coming around to the back, likewise has a pretty nice looking rear end here. Nice clean styling, uh, you know, nice balance of being sporty, rugged, and just a uh, much more modern look than what we saw in that first generation of the Ram. And like I said, I think that this generation of the Ram at its time uh, was very likely the best looking full size truck on the market. Looking inside the Ram, you'll see that it's got a pretty nice overall interior and again, a huge improvement over that first generation of the Ram. They did do a minor refresh to the second generation Ram interior in 1998. And so that's what you're seeing with this vehicle. As far as options, we've got power windows and power door locks. Driver's side mirror is manually adjusted with this little lever. And then both the driver and passenger side mirror are also heated. To the left of the steering column, we've got controls for headlights, parking lights, and our instrument cluster dimmer. On the steering wheel, we have controls for cruise control. Instrument cluster is pretty basic, but does have a tachometer and then our speedometer. To the right of that, we've got our controls for climate control, heat and air conditioning. And then in the middle, we've got our audio system, which includes AM, FM radio and cassette player. Below that, we've got a little storage compartment. We've got a cigarette lighter and below that a 12 volt outlet. And then if we fold this down, we've got two cup holders. Down below, we've got our lever for the four wheel drive system. It does include a four low and four high option. And then up again on the dashboard, we've got a little storage compartment here and then key slot for turning the passenger side airbag on and off. Up above, we've got a manual dimming rear view mirror, compartment here for a garage door opener. If you store that in here and push this button, you can use it to control your garage door opener. Two reading lights, and then a compartment for sunglasses or other small items. In the middle, we've got a nice large console that folds down in this middle seat. Open that up, we've got plenty of storage space. 
And then to access the rear seat, we've got a lever here. We can pull, fold the seat forward, and access the three seats in the rear. The seat does fold up. There's a lever down below here. We'll pull that up to use this space for storage. And then likewise, we can easily drop the seat back down to use it for seating again. The Ram was available in either rear wheel drive or four wheel drive. And in 2001, they offered three engine options. The base engine was a 3.9 liter six cylinder with 175 horsepower and an EPA rating of 16 miles per gallon. This truck has the 5.2 liter eight cylinder with 230 horsepower and an EPA rating from 13 to 14 miles per gallon. And then they also offered a 5.9 liter eight cylinder with 235 horsepower and an EPA rating of 13 miles per gallon. Each of those engines could be paired to either a four speed auto or five speed manual. Tow capacity on the Ram maxes out at about 8,000 pounds and payload goes up to 2,200 depending on configuration. Well, there's no doubt that this truck is a little bit rough around the edges inside and out. It's getting up there in age and it's been well used. But when I saw it on the lot, I had to take it out for a drive to make a review. If you think back to 1996, the movie Twister, it was a huge movie at the time. And there was a red Dodge Ram 1500 that was the hero vehicle of that film. Ever since I watched that movie as a kid, I have been a huge fan of the Ram 1500. And it's fun to kind of realize the dream of driving one of these trucks after all of these years. And overall, I'm very impressed with the truck, especially the fact that this is the 2001, so it's the last year of this generation, uh, really indicating this is more of a 1994 truck. And overall, it's a really solid truck. All right, pulling onto the highway, we'll do a little acceleration test and let you hear that V8 in action. by no means a quick truck. Definitely one thing that's changed in the last 20 years, but at the same time, it's still more than adequate. I mean, once you get up to speed, it feels very powerful. Uh, towing capacity is pretty impressive. Uh, I'd say that the one thing that really disappoints about this powertrain is the fuel economy is pretty dismal. So that's a review of the second generation model of the Dodge Ram. I am a huge fan of this truck. Like I said before, it completely transformed the Ram lineup. And I think it's the reason that Dodge is still in business today. Really great overall truck, very good looking on the exterior, a very nice interior, and just overall a really solid option within the full-size truck segment. If you have any comments or questions on the Ram, leave them in the comments below. For more car reviews, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.